This summer, we've been active with projects around the farm. Donald's work gave us two large IBC totes for free so we can upgrade our rain catchment system. Our new neighbor that moved into Bernie's old house also gave us a free IBC tote. So we are set when it comes to water for our garden and animals now. This is extra important for us because our property has a very shallow well. It's only like 17 feet. So any length of time without rain could be problematic. We decided to wrap them in black plastic after watching a video from Doug and Stacy and wanted to avoid the algae that comes from allowing sunlight to come through the plastic. We also found some snapping turtle eggs in our garden that we decided to relocate and keep them out of our immediate area. We brought on a new family member to our carpet kettle farm, a young, fully intact male Nigerian dwarf pygmy mix that we named Hashtag. I can help with that if you get him out here. We've been wanting to breed for a bit now, and this was our opportunity from another local homestead. Well, you are trying. He's too tall for you. <laughs> oh. Unfortunately, Jolene was not happy and very adamant that she did not approve of this new goat and was taking it out on the other goats as well. So unfortunately, we made the hard decision to part with Jolene at one of the local livestock auctions. After that though, all of the goats seemed way happier than they had been in a very long time and hashtag settled in nicely. She's trying. She's like three times your size, bro. You need me to pick you up? So nicely that we now have two pregnant mama Nigerian dwarf goats that are expected to deliver in the next couple weeks. He's gonna get a running start. <laughs> a running start and a leap. Hi Reggie. Why do you pick the biggest girl? Yeah, you're supposed to go after Oreo. We also decided, thanks to an inspiration from a TikTok video, to completely redo all of our garden beds in a rather cheap way that we will go over in another video. The difference in our garden from the previous years and now this year is pretty exciting for us. While we were a little behind on some things in our gardens, we've managed to get most of what we wanted planted and the weather has been pretty forgiving, enough to grant us good rain and good sunshine. And our tomato plants are currently taller than us. We stopped by some local farms to continue to build relationships with them and support local farmers. And since raw milk is legal here in Pennsylvania, we had to stock up on some of our favorite. We expanded our flock by not only hatching our Delaware chickens, but we also snagged some from tractor supplies since we never see Delaware pullets there. We decided that on that day we would go ahead and pick up a bunch. I was a little disappointed, however, that the brood of Australorps that we purchased from Tractor Supply turned out to not really be Australorps at all. We're thinking they're black sex links with maybe a few Australorps mixed in. We've been rotating them around the side garden area to keep the grass down, and they do rather enjoy playing and running around during the day. Chickens! Woohoo! Just after July 4th, we got an email from Murray McMurray that our Freedom Ranger peeps were in, so I hopped in the truck and headed to the post office to pick them up. Everyone on the staff and even other locals who were picking up mail were pretty tickled at the sound of them, and I love taking a small trip through Gettysburg.
Our wild harvesting areas are also very fertile this year, from our red raspberry plants to our newly planted white raspberries, which just so happen to taste like apples, by the way. Our Concord grapes are also going to give us a very large yield this year, so now I have to figure out what to do with all of them. My elderberry plants are the largest I've ever seen, and I'll be working on various ways to make a mix of syrups, tinctures, gummies, and who knows what else to let us enjoy them throughout the year. Echinacea and bee balm are flourishing and the bees are happy, though I'm disappointed that I really did not get to plant many new flowers this year, so that will be a goal in coming weeks. And summer is really not summer if you don't take a break now and then and really enjoy some peace and quiet in the outdoors. So while we apologize for not putting out as many videos or doing any lives, just know that we miss you and hope you've managed to enjoy the summer as well.